Hello Techies! Welcome back to Power Automate Desktop Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn about get XML element attribute action. Before going to learn about this action, first of all, we will learn about the XML attributes. What is XML attribute? Attributes are part of the XML elements. An element can have multiple unique attributes. This attributes gives more information about the XML elements. To be more precise, they define the properties of the element. An XML attribute is always a name value pair. Let me show you a small example over here. If you see on my screen, I'm having an XML with the name of students and teachers dot XML. If you observe over here, I'm having students this is the child node where you are having gender equal to male and class equal to one. Inside that I'm having child nodes as name, address, name, address. But if you observe one more thing over here in the teacher's child nodes that you can see over here, I'm having name, first name, last name, and inside that I'm having gender. What is the difference for the both the things? Whenever you are going to define inside the XML element over here like this. In this case, it will be considered as an attribute. But over here, what it will be done, it will be considered as an element. All right, that is the major difference what we have. But both examples provide the same information like gender or the sex, it is going to provide the same information. All right. Now, if you observe over here, whenever you are having the attributes, in that attributes, the value has to be in double quotes or single quotes. If you observe gender equal to double quotes, male, and class equal to double quotes, one is the value. Over here, you can see the string, and over here, the value is integer. All right. And if you observe the attributes, what are the attributes we are going to defining inside the nodes? that can have more than one. You can see over here, I'm having gender one attribute, class is another attribute. That is the main, we can have multiple attributes over here. All right. Now we will learn how to retrieve the values of an attribute of an XML element by using Power Automate Desktop. Let's switch to Power Automate Desktop. To retrieve the value which are available in the attribute, we will use XML action that is get XML element attribute action. By using this action, we can get the values of an attribute of an XML element. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. First of all, we'll see the parameters. The first parameter is that XML document. The XML document of an element to retrieve its attribute. This is nothing but simply whenever we have used read XML from file action, we have stored the entire XML in the XML document flow variable. That's the same flow variable I'm going to use it over here. If you see over here, at the time of XML document, I'm going to get the name as XML document. Now, the second parameter, XPath query. In the previous session, we have learned about the XPath query, and also we have seen how to get the XPath query. Over here in our scenario, I want to get the gender or the male. So what is the XPath that we have? Students, teachers, slash, students, slash, student. This is the path of the XPath query where we are going to use it to get the values of the particular attribute. All right, to get the XPath expression, right? To get the sub element. Now I'm going to give it the same thing over here. I have given the XPath query as students teachers slash students slash student. Over here, if you observe, I'm having the same path over here. And you can see the attribute name. We are having two attributes over here. One is gender, another one is class. Which attribute name you want to get it? there will define the attribute name over here. Just right now, I'm going to give it as gender over here. And what are the value we're going to get it, that value I want to get it in the format of get value as. There it should be a text value or numeric value, date time value, Boolean value. What are, what are the format that you require you want to get it in such a way you will get the value. Over here, I'm going to define the gender as text value. 
and the output which we are going to get it by using get xml element attribute action i will be stored the output in the variables produced that is xml attribute value let's click on save now if you see the flow variables xml attribute you are having the properties for the particular xml attribute value you can have the length is empty two upper two lower three mode values all these are the properties which we have for the xml attribute value all right now to display the output which we got it from the get xml attribute action i will use display message that is a message box to show the output let's drag and drop this action onto the workspace and then I'm going to give it the title as output and the message to display where I will get the values in the XML attribute value we can get the output right I'm going to select directly the XML attribute value the flow variable and then I'm going to click on save by looking the xml that we will get to know whenever we are going to select the attribute at the gender will get the output as male to get confirm let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started and you can see the output over here as male if you see over here i'm having gender equal to male all right now let's assume if i want to get the class also in that case what we will do now we'll change the get xml element attribute name over here as class let's click on save and let's run the flow to see the output and now the output we got it class as one all right let's click on ok now we are having get value right we have considered this value as text now if i want to change it to numeric value because of the class we're having numeric values right let's click on save now the numeric value also will get it as one because of the specified data type for the attribute we are having it as integer right so that now we will get the value over here as one let's click on ok this is how we are going to get the value of an attribute of the particular xml element by using get xml element attribute action as part of the power automate desktop Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.